Hello everybody out there on the internet, I'm Batosta, and today we're going to react to Hobson, Ill Mind of Hobson number 6. Now, I'm excited to get into it, I really enjoyed 5, I had a nice message to share, and I really enjoyed Hobson's voice and just his style overall. He's obviously a really good lyricist, and you know, I'm, I'm so happy to get into him finally because, you know, I was talking about getting into him a bit more, and I left him for a bit later, but... We're going to keep on going through, you know, I've got number 7 coming out after this one, then 8, then 9, might go back to 4, and then I'll browse around his other music until, you know, you guys give me some recommendations. <laughs> so, I'm going to get straight into it. I'm going to pull the screen up right here. We have the official video today, link in the description for it. Recommend checking that out before you check me out. Now, I will be pausing a bit just to help avoid copyright. I'm not too sure about how Hobson's copyright is at the moment especially for his older songs, but I won't make the video transparent or anything for now, so it should be fine as it is. So we'll just get into it in 3, 2, 1, let's kick it. already emotional you can tell it's going to be about probably an illness or death or something but he's coming at us with the emotional song today Ooh. this is a groovy beat i remember the first time you overdosed Fucking overload on meth. Paramedic saved your ass. He was close to ghosts. You never did know which road to go. It's like you rode the boat and sailed away and hoped to hit the golden coast. But you sank like the Titanic. The incident it left your life damaged. And that's when I panicked. You thought you had it locked, but well, you ain't on the right planet. If you're trying to live your life right, planet. It. It's like Ooh. You ain't living on the right planet. Try to live your life right, planet. That's a great little just flex on his skill there. Okay, these lyrics aren't completely accurate i think it's just auto generated but better than nothing i'm sure i'll catch any mistakes right planet if you're trying to live your life right planet it's like your planet. mind vanished you don't even know that i wish that we could go back because it's so sad when i tell jokes and you don't laugh like you used to i really hate to stress it but you're strange to mess with so i keep my distance because you always got this blank expression i think that's meant to be distress uh to stress that not distressing but i really like the flow he had here where he was like Really hate to stress a bit this room to mess with. You don't even know that. I wish that we could this go part. I wish that we could go back because it's so sad when you tell jokes you don't laugh like you used to. It's just like a really nice flow. And it's, it's for such an emotional song, you'd expect him to go a bit slower. But he's really just, you know, flexing his rap skills still. Back because it's so sad when I tell jokes that you don't laugh like you used to. I really hate to stress it, but you strange. Stress it, yeah, I think it's stress it. To mess with, so I keep my distance because you always got this blank expression. Like you confused and unaware of your surroundings. Emotions are gone and no one's found it. It's overwhelming. Your mama told you that drugs are bad. Is that meth? It seems because he's got like the meth face on and it's just kind of describing, I guess, a situation involving meth, maybe. Could be anything, but I'm gonna go ahead and guess it's meth. Really sad. I am. 100% assuming this is a true story then since he's, you know, talking about the stuff in his mind, you know, his ill mind. So this is an old friend, I guess. He, you know, spent a lot of childhood with him and then obviously the friend got mixed with the wrong crowd and started taking drugs. Groundings. Emotions are gone and no one's found it. It's overwhelming. Your mama told you that drugs are bad, but you ain't listened to the fire burn your ass. Now you understand. You always look like you don't know me. All right, I don't need the lyrics. I'm catching them all about the lyrics anyway. <laughs> um, really nice chorus here. It's so smooth and just easy on the ears. Very sad story, bro. I mean, look at him. Thought my best friend be gone in the future. But I was wrong. I should have stopped you when I had the chance to do so. But back then I felt like that was too bold. You started hanging with new folks and made the drug environment your new home. This world is too cold. Could I have prevented this? Who knows? They can mm, and he's doing like, you know, the self-blaming. 
he so I was right. He was hanging out with the wrong people. You know, Hobson obviously wasn't in about life, so he went away. That was another really nice flow here, though. Like, I should have stopped you when I had the chance to do so. But I was wrong. I should have stopped you when I had the chance to do so. But back then, I felt like that was too bold. You started hanging with new folks and made the drug environment your new home. This world is too cold. Could I have prevented this? Who knows? They convinced you that the shit was cool and hip to do. Saying it would lift your mood and make you feel invincible. So you started skipping school, hanging with these wicked dudes. Unaware that when you got older, you played a bigger fool. What a good, what a good line. Unaware that when you get older, you'd play the bigger fool. And that's how it is, you know. You start off having fun, thinking it's just, you know, to chill out with friends and, you know, just have a little bit of, I guess, something interesting going on in your life. But later on in life, you regret it. You end up realizing, damn, I did the wrong thing. And I don't know if he's, you know, passed away because of this or if he's just, like, in a catatonic state after it. Because he said, like, your emotions are gone and no one's found it. I don't know what's happening. Like, the full story, he might explain more. But either way, he's probably, you know, irreversibly ruined his life. Started skipping school, hanging with these wicked dudes. Unaware that when you got older, you played a bigger fool. And it's pitiful. Where the fuck they at now? In they mid-twenties, passed out, side of a crack house. Back when you met him, I had doubts. They put you on the bad route. And when you needed they help to pick you up, they fucking backed out. They fucking got you, I can't lie. But now your brain's fried. You don't even act like you the same guy. Your mama told you that drugs are bad. But you ain't listened to the fire burn your ass. Now you understand. Like you always look like... And you can really hear the emotion in his voice. Like, he's kind of got, like, a crack in his voice. Especially with, the, like, the parts where he's getting a bit more aggressive. So it's obviously, you know, had a really big impact on him. It's just terrible to hear, honestly. I'm, I'm so glad I don't know anyone who's been in a similar situation. Fire burns your ass, now you understand. Like you always look like you don't know me. And I'm mad at the world because the meds took away my homie. Give me back my homie. That's a nice little food truck there. Oh, they don't make that flavor hubba bubba anymore. That used to be my favorite. They stopped making it here. Reminded me of my memories. But all these stuff is like stuff I've had. You know, the hollow pandas, whatever they're called. Uh, Pop tarts, the little M and M canisters. Uh, those like the little like balls that you lick that have the like juice on it or whatever it is looks like tuckies maybe damn i just want to chill on the neighborhood black like we used to where'd you go never would have thought my best friend be gone in the future and that's such a nice bar i mean it's not a nice bar but it's such a strong bar i never thought my best friend be gone in the future my best friend be gone in the future but I was wrong. I ain't never felt this shit before. It gets me sore. I reminisce on us playing Nintendo 64. And at Christmas in 97, we got new crispy boards. And we was doing ollies in my kitchen on the slippery floor. Shit changed and it happened quick. But I can't forget that you was the first homie I started rapping with. You could have had half of this back when I had established it. But now I have to sit and feel bad. Look at what your actions did. Mm. He was so, so he's obviously extremely close with whoever he's singing about. And you know, he's saying... You know, we used to have fun, I guess, without drugs. And now he's turned to drugs to get that fun, I guess. But it became, you know, an addiction and now he's overdosed. I don't know if he's dead, like I said, but it seems like the way that Hobson is describing it could be that he's dead. Because he said, I never thought my best friend would be gone in the future. So either he's dead or as in, like, he can't hang out with his homie anymore. That you was the first homie I started rapping with You could have had half of this back when I had established it But now I have to sit and feel bad Look at what your actions did Man, you were so outgoing and so hysterical And seeing you now is just unbearable It's terrible You should have made your choices wisely Fucking with poison ivy Without your brain, please tell me What would your boy in life be? It's, it's such an emotional song But there's so many good bars Like, you know, he said Fucking with poison ivy Which is obviously a bad idea But also, you know um, comparing, I guess, the drug, drugs, I guess, you know, they harm you and they cause you pain. So I'm assuming what he means by that is like drugs are similar to just doing something with poison ivy because it's, it doesn't seem harmful. 
But in reality, you know, it's going to cause you a lot of pain, a lot of just soreness down the line. And that line, especially where he said, please, t- oh, without your brain, please tell me what your point of li- in life would be, something like that. And I said, sure, you know, your brain is such a powerful organ. You should really take care of it. You should never try and compromise your brain because, you know, without it, you're nothing. You struggle to get your ass to listen. Poison Ivy, without your brain, please tell me what would your boy in life be? It's a struggle to get your ass to listen. Really hurt me and the rest of your family with all your bad decisions. We always told you that drugs are bad, but you ain't listened to the fire burns your ass. Now you understand. And you always look like you don't know me. And I'm mad at the world because the I really love that scratch as well. I don't know if it's an official like disking scratch, if it's just a sound effect or like a synth sort of sound effect to add it in. But either way, it really helps going into the chorus and it adds so much more emotion, I feel like, because there's that little break before he goes into the rest of the chorus. So he has the start of the chorus, which is like, you always look like you don't know me. And then, <laughs> mad at the world because the meth took away my homie. It just, it really flows so nicely, especially, like, look how sad he is. It really conveys the emotion he's showing. Like you don't know me. And I'm mad at the world because the meds took away my homie. Give me back my homie. Please come home. I just want to chill on the neighborhood block like we used to. Where'd you go? Never would have thought my best friend be gone in the future. Future. But I was wrong. Excuse me, do you need a ride? Looks like you're going. That was a really powerful part. It reminded me a lot of Metallica Master of Puppets, which is obviously about, you know, drugs and um the drugs being the master that tells you like you need me keep taking me all is all you need and here he says um get high in crystal meth i'm what i'm all you need uh, i'm gonna re-listen to it because there was a nice part crystal meth, i'm your best friend yeah exactly meth, i'm all you need, all you need. You know, if you ever want to succeed. Really greatly done ending there. Mm, is, that, does that mean he's flatlined? I'm pretty sure that's not the heartbeat. I'm pretty sure this green one's the heartbeat. So it looks like he's flatlined, if that's what it means. Really love this beat as well. I haven't really mentioned it much, but it's such a nice beat. It's got like the, I don't know what sound it is, like what instrument. It sounds kind of like a trumpet, but I'm assuming it's just, you know, synth and, you know, uh, sound effects that he's added into the beat. But it sounds really nice. And it's such a unique beat because a lot of the time it's like drum focused or even like a bit guitar focused. This one is very, you know, brass focused I'd say and it works well with just the overall tone that they're setting in fact it almost sounds like a violin either way it's really eerie and it works so good And that synth on the end is really good as well. Really enjoyed the synth on the end. <clears throat> Very nice song. It was kind of touching, you know, and I'm happy that I can't relate to it. Um, I don't really have any friends that have, you know, used substances like that. I mean, there's a couple I, f- I can think of, but they never got far, I don't think, in the doing all right at the moment. But, I mean, if they continue on their course, who knows what would happen. But, you know... What I really appreciate is the storytelling on this because he obviously seems so emotional about it. You know, he kind of warned people about the side effects and the consequences of it. So it also helps with just 
you know, spreading a message against against doing drugs. But either way, it's just, you know, it's a glimpse into his mind as always. And he's telling us a story about what's happened to him. And I feel like this is a good way to teach people that, you know, drugs are bad and stuff. So really well done. Nice beat. As always, I really enjoyed Hobson's singing. You know, he's shown that he can sing as well as rap. And I think that's just a really versatile skill set skill set that he has so i'm happy to get into seven next time it's a longer song i think it's got it's got more views like almost triple the views so i'm excited to get into it um i don't have much else to say you know if you enjoyed please like and subscribe comment any recommendations suggestions anything down below really love reading and responding to them and yeah just any support you guys have given you know, I've really appreciated it. We've grown so much in like a two, three weeks I've been here. And it just really means a lot to see the community that's been growing around us. So thank you all for that and really appreciate it. With that being said, I'll catch you later.